Hi, my name is Felipe Ramos and this is my presentation for IPRA 2020. It's called Simultaneous Online Motion Discrimination and the Evaluation of Holy Body Exercise by Synergy Probes for Home Rehabilitation. We decided to use this for home rehabilitation because home rehabilitation needs a personalized evaluation for each subject and we also need some kind of analysis. And since the subject might perform different movements during a section, we also need to do a discrimination of the movements to analyze each type of movement individually. One way to do this discrimination is using muscle synergies. One theory is that the central nervous system controls a set of muscles instead of individual muscles. And each set of muscles is associated to one specific pattern of movement. So, if we can detect which synergies are active during a specific time, we can detect which movement the subject is performing. And other advantage is that the algorithm to find synergy is simple, so we can use it in real time. Well, and the conventional method has some limitations. They use a type of synergy called spatial synergy, which consists of reconstructing the data using two matrices, W, which has the synergies, and C, which is the control signal that defines which synergies are active at a specific time. And when we extract spatial synergies from a continuous data, one pattern is represented by the activation of multiple synergies, and sometimes these synergies are shared among different patterns. So since we want specific patterns for one movement, we need to first segment the data to find a set of synergies for that specific movement. And after this, we need to calculate the matrix C in real time that minimizes the reconstruction error. And with the reconstructed data for all sets of synergies, we detect the pattern as the reconstruction with smallest distance to the original data. And what we did was create a new method that can find a specific patterns for the movements without segmentation of the data. So since we don't need to segment the data, we don't need to formally define the movement beforehand. And we also use this method to get performance information. So what we did was get the original algorithm of spatial synergy and do some modifications. One of these modifications is how we normalize the data. Instead of normalize the whole data, we normalize the data for every time step. And to calculate the matrix W, we use this normalized data and we also added a competition term. With competition, we make sure that during a specific time step, only one synergy will be active. And to find C, we use it non-negative least square. In this case, we can compare the synergies directly with the normalized data. So we don't need to calculate the matrix C in real time. And we say that the representation of all possible patterns is called the action map and the synergies are specific positions in this action map. So our idea of synergy probes is monitor the behavior of the subject in the action map and calculate the distance of the current pattern to the position of the synergies. And to test our method, we perform experiments with some subjects and they did eight simple whole body movements in front of a Kinect. And for training data, we used the data of only one subject that performed all eight movements. And to test the data, we asked five subjects to perform all movements, but we didn't define the number of movements in the order. Just for comparison, we also segmented the data so that we could compare it with the algorithm for spatial synergy and also with linear discriminant analysis. So first, we extracted the synergies from the normalized data. And since we wanted to compare with the other algorithms, we extracted eight synergy probes. And then we calculated the distance for synergy probes and for the sets of spatial synergies. In this figure, 
each color represents one specific pattern. And we can see that in the case of spatial synergies, for each pattern, the distance to the current patterns can achieve a distance close to zero. This happened because of the minimization of the matrix C in real time. And since we don't calculate C in real time and compare the synergy direct to the data, we can always see a arrow, a small distance between the synergy probes and the current pattern. This is actually something good because we can use this arrow as a performance measure to see how good was the movement. Other difference between the algorithms is that during the transition between two patterns, in the case of spatial synergies, almost all sets of synergies have a distance close to zero, but in the case of the synergy probes, we can see a transition between the previous and the next pattern. And after this, we calculated the classification error for all subjects and calculate the average. At first, we can see that the linear discriminant analysis couldn't classify well the movements because the training data was just one subject, it was two field data. And for synergy probes and spatial synergies, in some cases, one is better than the other. One special case is the highlighted with blue. In this case, the classification error for synergy probe was really bad, while it was good for spatial synergy. And this happened because of the segmentation of the data. Because inside the segmented data for these specific patterns, there are actually two patterns. And as we can see in the right figure, the control signal of the two spatial synergies that represent this pattern, they are active at different times, which suggests that there were actually two patterns inside the segmented data. But the algorithm detects as only one pattern. Since the synergy probes use only one synergy for one pattern, it was missing one synergy to represent the additional pattern. So actually, we would need 9 or even 10 patterns to represent all possible patterns. This information is not available with spatial synergies. We can conclude with these results that with synergies, we can discriminate some movements in real time using a simplified training. And while other methods that depend on segmented data uh, can't identify missing patterns, uh, we could identify that some patterns were missing with our methods. And also, we, we can use the, the distance calculated to the synergy probes as a quality measurement. Since we don't perform any any calculation or minimization in real time.